Hey guys, Crypto Junior with another video. Today we're going to talk about KiroCoin and how you can set up a masternode step by step. I am talking about this coin since it is $1. Right now we are sitting at a $4 each and I think they have a lot of more potential. You need 1000 Kiro coins for one masternode. Right now at this moment it gives you 45 Kiro coins each day. Keep in mind the the amount of Kiro coins that it will give you each day will decrease. So it can be tomorrow 40 Kiro coins, but around 22 days, 30 days, you have your investment back in Kiro coins. Um, if the price increase, it can be f earlier, but right now it gives you 45 Kiro coins. So I think it's a good investment um, because normally master notes take maybe months to get it back. Uh, so we are very early. I think we should not wait any longer. Let's go to the first step. So right now we are at the first step of setting up your master node. And the first step is setting up your VPS server. Inside the description, I will set, put in the link to the vpsag.com. Uh, it's an affiliate link. If you like this video, I will appreciate you using this link. And um, so after we go to the website, we see here three euros each month. We click on it, we go down, and here we can see Ubuntu. We click on more options, we click on 18, we click on check out, we fill in all the information to order the server. After 20 minutes, your server is completely installed and then we can go to the next step. So take a drink and come back after 20 minutes after purchasing this uh, VPS server. After 20 minutes when your VPS server is installed, we go to my servers at the top. We click on our server, so we click on view details. And at view details, we can see on the left side our password. Save this password because after several hours it will disappear and then you need to do everything again if you uh, lose your password. So it's important, save it somewhere, uh, keep it safe. On the right side, we can find our IP address. Here you can see IP address and here you can find the password. So what is next? Now we need to log in into our VPS server. And this can be done by download, downloading Bitfice. So go to Bitfice website and download the program. I will put in the description the download link. It's free, so uh, click on the link and download it. After installing Bitfice on our computer, we also need to install the Ubuntu wallet and also the Windows wallet because I think you're using uh, the Windows computer. So we click on Ubuntu 18. Inside the description, I will put this download link. Click on download and also do the same for your Windows. After downloading the wallets, uh, I create a file inside my downloading map. I create it because it's easy to find in the next step. So I call it the Kiro Demon 2, but you can call it whatever you want. And inside this folder, I put in the Ubuntu file. I unzip it, so I now have two. And inside the Ubuntu, I right now have those four files. And I will explain in the next step what you need to do with this. So the next step is logging in into your VPS server. You can do this by open up your Bitfice client, fill in at host the IP address you received from VPS AG, fill in by port 22, username root, initial method password, this one needs to be on, fill in the password you received from VPS AG, enable password over this, this one needs to be enabled, and now we click at the bottom on login. After we are logged in, we will use those two, new terminal console and new SVTP window. Now we click on new SVT window. It will open up a screen and we want to make sure that on the left side we have our folder with um, our programs that we have installed. So go to that folder on the left side by clicking here and arrange it. And on the right side we want to be in the slash usr slash bin. After making sure we are, the, we are inside the usr bin, we will download, or sorry, after we are in the usr bin file, we will upload two files to the right side. We click on KiroCoin D, click on upload, KiroCoin CLI, click on upload. After we now have download, uploaded, 
those two files to a right side. We click on filter and now we can see those two. The next step is giving them permission. So we do this by clicking on the right button, properties, permission, this one, this one, and this one. Click on okay, do the same for the other one, properties, permission, this one, this one, this one. Okay, now we gave permission to those files. The next step is creating inside the USR bin a new folder. Right mouse, click on create folder and call it dot Kiro coin. It's important to have the dot in front. We go to our folder. We create here a notepad file, right mouse, create file and call it Kiro coin dot conf. You can read it here. In this step, we're going to set up our kirocoin.conf file. We will open it. For you, it's empty, but for mine, mine is already filled in. So we need to fill in at RPC user, some username. It can be anything. It doesn't matter. At RPC password, we will fill in a password. It can be anything. So just fill in something. Now we need to fill in the external IP. Fill in your IP address that you received and where you also will logging in with your VPS server. Don't forget to add the dots and then 8999. And the last one we need to generate. So we will generate this now. This can be done inside the KiroCoin wallet. Right now we are inside the KiroCoin wallet. First, we need to go to settings, encrypt wallet and set up a password for your wallet. After completing this step, go to options, click on enable coin control futures and click on OK. Now we go to help, debug window, click on console and right here BLS generate and click on enter. I am not pushing on enter because I already set up uh, my master notes, but uh, if you click on enter, it will pop up a public and a private key. Now you will see a publicly and a private key. Copy paste this on your computer somewhere, maybe in a notepad, maybe on a document, but save this somewhere. Okay, so we go back to our bitfiles, to the notepad file and copy paste your private key from the BLS generate at the last section. So we paste it at the last section, the Z node BLS private key. We paste it here and then we click on save. Now we're going to transfer a folder to another location. What we need to do is go back, make sure we are at the USR bin. Now we're going to copy this folder by clicking on it, download. Now it will be downloaded to the left side. Now we go to slash root. And now we click on the folder. We click on upload and now it's uploaded to the root folder section. Next step is opening up the KiroCoin folder. We click on this one. We download it. We go back and then again we upload this one to this side inside the root folder. So we have this one here and we have our folder here. We go back to our Bitfiles menu. We click on new terminal console. So the first step is to write down Kirocoin D daemon. Uh, you can find it on the left side here, what you need to write down. So I will not push an enter because I already did it, but write down Kirocoin D space line daemon. Click on enter. Now write down Kiro coin slash CLI space get info. Click on enter. Now it will pop up a lot of lines with your server information. You now successfully set up your VPS server. Go back to your Kiro wallet. Open up the debug window. And now we will create four wallets to set up the master node. 
The first thing what we need to do is write down get new address and call it master node. I will write it master node test or no, master node video. Click on enter, get new address. Now we will call it owner video, but you can call it whatever you want. You can, I will call it owner video because I'm making a video, but you can call it whatever you want. Now we're gonna make get new address fee and get new address payout. Now we have successfully created four new wallets. And what we need to do right now is copy this, paste it here and write down master note. Copy. Owner. This one we call fee. And this one we will call payout. It's maybe smart to save in the same file that you have your BLS generate, copy paste it in this notepad because we will save it on our computer to just to have the information when you need it. The next step is funding our masternode wallet. We want to send 1000 Kiro coins exactly to our masternode wallet. So first send 1002 Kiro coins to your desktop wallet. If you have already done this, then it's okay. But if you don't, didn't do this yet, click on receive and click on request payment, copy this address and send from your exchange 1002 Kiro coins to your wallet. Now the next step is click on input, select the wallet that you want to send the tokens from. And the next step is we gonna get this wallet on from your left side, the masternode wallet, and we copy paste it here to pay two. And we fill in here exactly 1000. Make sure this one is not active because we want to send 1000 exactly. Click on send. And now you have successfully sent 1000 Kiro coins to your masternode wallet. Now we're gonna do the same, but now we're gonna send to the fee wallet, we copy paste this one, we insert, input it here, and now we send two Kiro coins to this wallet. This wallet will be used to fund transactions for your master node. So we have 1000 in one wallet and two in the other wallet. Okay, now we click on transactions, and now we can see our last two transactions, the 1000 and the two Kiro coins. We wait until it's confirmed. On the left side, you can see if it's confirmed or not. After it's confirmed, we go back to help. We click on debug window. And now we write down AFOS node outputs. Make sure you write down the exact comment what I write here, AFOS node outputs. And it will give you another code. Copy paste this code into your notepad. Now we're gonna do the last step to set up your master node. On the left side, we have our information. We have our four wallets. We have our BLS generate public key. We have our private key and we have our AVOS node outputs code. Now we're gonna set up our master node in the last step. So what you need to do now is this step is most of the time the hardest one. So make sure you fill everything correctly. I will go step by step what you need to fill in. So inside the description, I will put this line of code. Um, so you can find it there, no problem. You can copy paste it there inside your notepad. This one, we will keep the same. Now we get the cholesterol hash. Fill in your EVOS node code here. Okay, only the code, the first part of the code. Here we fill in the index of your EVOS node output. So this is most of the time a zero or a one, and you can find it at your EVOS node code. Here you fill in your IP address. So it's something like two point two point point this, and then don't forget to add the double dots eight nine nine nine. 
and your IP address can be found inside the file you can you you set up in your VPS server. But also it can be found uh, as you're logged in to access the VPS server. Now we get to the owner address. The owner address is this one. We copy paste it here. Operational public key. This one can be found at the BLS generate. So get the public key at this part, copy paste it here. The voting address is the same as the owner. So we click this one, we copy paste it to the voting address. Operator reward will be zero. So we just, we get this away, put in zero. Payout address, we copy paste this one to here. We fill in payout and now the fee source will be this one. Now we have completed this line of code. We go back to our debug window and we fill in. First, it's very important to follow this step first. Wallet phrase, fill in your password. So password space 360, click on enter. Now go back to your fill it in line, copy this paste it in a debug window. You now see this, but normally it's your information. So copy paste it, fill it in, click on enter, and now you have successfully set up your master node. Congratulations and enjoy your rewards. If you like this video and you want to see more about KiroCoin or other tokens, click on the subscribe button and uh, thanks for watching this video and have a good day.